Well, hello guys and gals, welcome back. I'm Shaina, your soft skills and comp skills trainer, back here with another session of soft skills and comp skills. So to begin with, we have FMWs once again, that is frequently mispronounced words. So in the list of frequently mispronounced words, the first word that we have here is C-O-M-P-E-T-I-T-I-V-E. -E well, often this word is mispronounced by people. Some people generally call this word as competitive. For example, I'm appearing or I'm going to appear for competitive exam, which is absolutely wrong because the right pronunciation of this word is competitive, competitive, competitive. My sister is preparing for competitive exam competitive. All right. Well, the next word that you see here is L-O-C-A-L-I-T-Y. Again, the wrong pronunciation of this word is locality. Locality, which is wrong, as I just said, because the right pronunciation is locality. You can see here clearly that there is a smiley in the sound. The word is not locality, the word is locality, locality, and this sound is not low, it's a little oop sound, that is lo locality, locality, locality. For example, he lives in my locality, locality means nothing but area, your vicinity, your area. He lives in my locality, locality. All right, now the next word that we see here is M-A-X-I-M-U-M, -M, often mispronounced as maximum, maximum, which is, as I said, is wrong. The right pronunciation of this word is not maximum, it is maximum. Again, a smiley, maximum. It is not maximum, it is maximum. And this is not mum, this is mum. Maximum, maximum, maximum. Well, the next word that you see here is M-A-X-I-M-U-M. Again, a word that is highly mispronounced. Well, dear friends, this is not maximum. The right pronunciation of this word is maximum. With a smiley, mac, si, not z, si, mum, not mum, mum. Maximum, maximum. For example, the temperature has reached a maximum of 42 degrees Celsius. The temperature has reached a maximum, maximum of 42 degrees Celsius. Well, the next word that you see here is R-E-S-E-R-V-A-T-I-O-N, which again is often mispronounced. People generally call it as reservation. Reservation. I will get my reservation done today, which is wrong. Dear lovey dovies, this word is not reservation, the word is reservation. 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 I have a hotel reservation for today. I have a hotel reservation for today. So the word is reservation. Well, moving on, the next word is R-U-M-O-U-R. -U a lot of people call it as rumor. I, I get to hear a lot of rumors about you. So that is not rumor. The word is rumor. 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 For example, there are rumors about your engagement all around. There are rumors about your engagement all around. So these were the FMWs for today. For even better practice, let us repeat all the words. I expect all my listeners, all the learners to kindly repeat the words after me. The first word is competitive. Competitive. Yes, you may repeat. Competitive. The next that you see over here is locality. Locality, not locality, locality. Maximum, maximum, with a smiley, maximum. 
Next here is reservation. Reservation. Last word, rumor. Rumor. Well, moving further, dear friends, as you can see here, I've also written today a tongue twister. For your information, let me tell you, dear friends, a tongue twister is also called a jawbreaker. It is basically an exercise or a drill for your jaw to improve your fluency and clarity in speech. And definitely it's fun to learn. But it does come with a purpose, and the purpose is that it improves your fluency to a great extent and makes you sound more clear. So, today's tongue twister, my dear friends, is it is based on sir and sh sound. Generally, when we speak these two sounds together, it creates some kind of confusion or you sound unclear at times. So, to make it clear and to to bring in a lot of fluency in our speech, let us learn our today's tongue twister that's based on s and sh sound. It's s and sh. So let's be clear with these sounds. And today's tongue twister is Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. Well, this tongue twister is a little tricky at once. In the beginning, it's a little tricky. However, if you practice, believe you me, that my dear friends, you will sound beautiful and it will definitely work a lot on your fluency and clarity. So I'll repeat the tongue twister for you five times and make, you clear, make it clear to you that how to speed up in this. First, I'll go slow, then I'll speed up. The tongue twister is, Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. I repeat, Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. One more time, Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. Where she shines, she sits. So, it is all about practice and a bit of concentration. So, do try out this tongue twister and become more and more fluent and have amazing clarity in your language. Well, the word kooky means crazy or strange or weird. Somebody who does a particular activity which is a little crazy or strange, you can use this word for that person. For example, uh, her sister is so kooky. A person who is a little strange and crazy kind, for such a person you can use this word. Her sister is so kooky or her dressing style is so kooky or she walks in a kooky manner. Kooky. So this was today's word. I expect you to use this word and add it to your vocabulary and also make use of all the FMWs, the tongue twister and the word of the day and enhance your vocabulary and sound like a native speaker. Well, that was all for today. I expect you to practice these words, phrases, these FMWs, tongue twisters that we do on a week basis and get yourself and keep yourself updated. Stay fit, stay home, stay healthy. Goodbye, take care.